to nothing like a violent game and Contract really does give you that. It's fantastic fun. It's very much 8-bit uh, Scarface. It's classic killing isometric style. Your top-down view of everything uh, is an advantage, really. Uh, but there are different ways to find yourself around the map to settle scores for your boss, Mr. Chow, who sends you on your merry way and you have to select your weapons, your boost, all your little perks and then when you've killed your subjects you have to eliminate not just the uh, evidence but also any sign that you were even there. Set fire to everything. Hey, you don't even have to wait for the people to leave. Contract is the game for you. It's really fun. I even say it's fantastic. Again, I've got to stop saying that, but that's how I feel. It really is a blast. There's another pun. God damn it. Anyway, the dogs and other sort of things, don't pay attention to them. As you complete your mission in the story mode, you realize you're slowly kind of you're losing track of reality. Your uh, abode begins to give you clues to just how unsettled you are in the way you've been hit man you know there's things that you have to unlock which I haven't solved yet because I haven't gotten that far I've only past the first two chapters but to tell the truth it's worth sticking to because the missions get harder and the ways of doing them get more fun and the different weapons you can pick up with limited ammo you really do have to be quick on the draw meeting Mr. Chow is a bit unsettling I want to kill him already because I don't like him very much the antagonist, I think. But this guy's just a tool. I don't like him. I want him dead. I hope he gives himself as the next uh, assignment, really. I'd have to kill him. That'd be great. But I can't because I'm following the story mode and I have to do as I'm told. Go around and kill random people. Some are uh, deserving of it, I guess. But the bad guys, protectors, the bodyguards are formidable. The AI on this is really switched on. I'm playing on the just a normal mode and my arse kicked. But it's not because of my lack of skills. I mean, I'm not too brilliant on it. It's just the controls uh, can be a little bit um, clunky, you know. It's uh, it's pretty bad at times, but the gunplay is really good. I love it. But it can be random with what weapon you pick. So it's kind of luck. You, know, you could go into a room with a shotgun and realize the guys next door. I've got uh, machine guns and you're just wasted. It's just, you know, it's not skill based at all. I think it's just um, a bit of luck involved and just the way you move, if you move fast enough and your accuracy is on point, then you'll get through to the next situation, the next mission, you know, the next contract basically that Mr. Chow throws you away. I personally love the game because it's, you know, although it can be frustrating at times trying to aim your weapon when you've got the bead on them and they just turn around and whack you. Uh, it's still good because you just want one more go, you know, it, it's an addictive game. Bloody annoying, like some games like Reeve, I mean, that's a frustrating game. But it's, it's fun, you know, this has a fun value to it. Not the best game I've played, but it does look nice. I like the visuals, the music, I like the art style. You know, it's got a lot going for it. I don't hate this game at all. I thought I would. But the controls, despite being not the best, I do feel it's still a bundle of fun. And it's not overpriced either, which is nice. It's not going to cost you too many pennies. Anyway, that's my review of Contract. Give it a go. Give it a bash. If you want to buy it now, buy it when it's on sale. And thank me later, because, you know, the missions get a hell of a lot more fun. I think the nightclub two-story scene uh, mission that I did uh, it's just a laugh a minute. You see some graphic stuff as well, you know. I watched uh, as a man and a woman were doing it in the toilets, you know, that was a bit weird. Um, but yeah, it just made me laugh. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's not just gory, but it's pervy as well. <laughs> you know, I don't mind that. Uh, there's a lot of games that have been worse than this, but if you look, as, you, as I'm playing here, you see the blood splatter, people panicking. The enemies coming at you, you know, and you can shoot them. You can shoot the innocents as well, but I try not to. But sometimes, you know, it's hard to see who's bad, who's good, and you know, you can tell the bad guys are the perverts, are the ones with the women on the laps, or you know, there's other women and men getting it on. As I said, it, it is pretty pervy. Sometimes it's hard to see 
where you go and you don't know where the door is, or you see the door, but you, you just walk into the wall, which is a bit embarrassing if you're doing a playthrough like I'm doing. But, you know, it, it's just got a lot of humour to it as well. I mean, going up the stairs to the second floor is pretty cool because I'm so used to these sort of games just being on one floor and that's it. But to go upstairs and take on more bad guys is a lot of fun too. I did enjoy this game, you know. So, yeah, you know, I highly recommend it. You have to kill all the bad guys to progress to the next um, mission. So, there you go. That's a warning. Weapons feel good and you can see your ammo disappear. It's nice and neat. As I said the AI kick your ass and it's a bit of trial and error I know but it, the game is a, a laugh and you know again I re repeat myself definitely worth buying decent game but yeah I might get a hate but I like it sorry you don't, don't have to follow what people say I liked it and that's the end of it enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll talk to you all soon in my next quick review or next gameplay check it out more beautiful desolation and other stuff coming very very soon and some PS5 uh, gameplay coming as well so look out for that and of course my usual giveaways anyway, I'm going to show up now and let you enjoy the rest of this bloodbath and the bad language okay.